Hey everyone, it's Tracy. Thanks for joining me today. I am super excited because I am doing a collab with my good, good, good friend, Stacy Williams of Love That Bug. Um, I asked her if she'd like to do a collab and she said yes, so it makes my heart so happy. So anyway, today we are showing you some ideas for Teacher Appreciation Week. Uh, that is this week, May the 2nd through the 6th. 2016 and so um, we want to say thank you to all of those teachers who take care of our kiddos all right so I'm gonna show you um, this project right here now if you uh, are a blog follower of mine at country charm by tracy.com you may have seen this last year 2015 but I just created it and I put it on the blog but I didn't do a video and so I got a lot of response a lot of feedback from it so I promised myself this year that I would uh, do a video and so that's what I'm doing anyway it is a green ball mason jar and they come with the with the lid on them and so I created these little tags and they are for a free download and I'll put the link in the description below I just tied some jute this is the the lid and the ring and so for the top I made a succulent a faux succulent teacher gift um, I know it might be goofy but I think it's so cute and so they can have the jar you can put candy in it you can put you know gift card notes all kind of goodies for the teacher uh, and then once they eat the candy or do whatever then they can use the jar to put pencils markers um, different kind of school supplies in for their classroom uh, and they could use this for like a shelf decor how stinking adorable is that I mean this is even cute to just make a little cute decoration on that thing right there so anyway I'm gonna show you how to make the flowers and uh, I have a video that I did last year uh, which is um, how to make burlap flowers in my cuddle bug I will link to that video down below I will link to that video uh, here in this one and so if you would like to know how I created other ones I'm going to show you how I did that Okay, we're going to use this uh, Tim Holtz flowers. It's the Sizzix um, die like this. Tattered florals is what this die is called. And so then I have my cuddle bug and I have two B plates. And so here is my burlap that I've already mod podged and, it's, and it is dry. And so I want to put this on the die like that and put it face down. I'm going to be making a sandwich like that and then I'm going to just uh, run it through my little cuddle bug. The cuddle bug is a hand crank die cutting or embossing machine and so you just have to use a little elbow grease and then when you take off the the die then you have these little flowers okay so I have my green ball mason jar and it has the little lid and the ring like that so I have some E6000 glue and I want to glue it on this right here so that it will stick okay so what I did is I glued this uh, the lid onto the ring be careful that you don't get the glue on this part of the ring because you want the teacher or if you're doing it for a gift to be able to screw the um, <laughs> lid on and off because if you get the E6000 on the ring it's going to glue the, the jar shut so we don't want to do that 
Okay, then to decorate the lid, the, the uh, lid is attached to the ring. And so I just have some washi tape here. I'm just using this green chevron color. And I'm just going to run it around the ring. Okay, then here is the one uh, that I did last year, and I'm telling you that because it is still intact. It is not come off, the lid is still intact, the washi tape is still, it's not peeled off, the little flower is just as cute as it can be. And so, I think this is just so adorable. So what I did is I have four layers of this flower and I have one of this flower and one of this flower. So of course the more you layer the, the uh, more full your flower is going to be. So I um, so that's completely up to you. As you can kind of see here it covers the whole lid so I don't feel I need to put anything else on here. You do want to make sure that it, you allow the E6000 glue to, to set. Okay, I created this tag and you can find that on my blog. I will link to that in the description below if you would like to go and print these out and just print them on cardstock. They're for personal use only. Okay, and they just print out just like that. Looks like a little chalkboard. So for the ring of the jar, I just tied some jute string. When you're going to uh, twist it and make it all in one, you want to make sure that you give yourself enough rope. And so I'm going to twist it around several times. I think three is what I have. I'll just do four of this one. So you want to make sure that you give yourself enough jute string so that you can tie a little bow. I think that makes it look really cute. And when you put your jute on your jar, make sure that you put it below that glass ring so that it doesn't interfere when you take the lid on and off. I'm just going to secure it so it doesn't unravel. I'm just going to kind of secure it like that. And then I'm just using my crocodile for a hole, but uh, if you have a hole puncher, you can use that. I just have this size handy. Okay, so I just put it here in the corner so that I like the way that, that, that it hangs like that, kind of cocked to the side. <clears throat> and so uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the jute string here through the uh, hole. And I usually like to give it extra security. So I'm going to tie it once, kind of giving it a, a, a nice little um, tug, but not too hard where it rips my hole. And then I'm just going to tie a bow. Now my string may be a little bit long, but I'd rather have it be a little too long than be too short on my on my tag. 
Okay, so it says, thanks for being my teacher. All right. Okay, we're gonna work on the flower, and let me tell you what we're going to do. I just have some plastic or some acetate. This is from like a roll of ribbon that I purchased that had this clear plastic around it, I guess, you know, to keep it from, you know, getting dirty and stuff, and this stuff is really too good to throw away. So, um, if you have a hole puncher that will punch a hole, but what I want to do is I want to make a little circle because I want to go ahead and put my flower together, but I don't want to push on my the top of my lid because my E6000 is not all the way dry. And so if you do this ahead of time and you let these dry completely, you can just put your flower right on here but uh, for video purposes, I'm just gonna use a, I'm just gonna freehand fussy cut a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just something that I can attach my flower to. <clears throat> okay, so what I did is I have my little circle and you will either have your circle or this will be your lid. And then I have my hot glue. Oops. Don't you hate when those little glue globs happen? Uh, let's see. So I'm going to put some hot glue right in there. And I have my little Mod Podge finger. I showed you this in a couple of videos. These things are a godsend. They are for hot glue. Um, you don't burn your fingers. I find them at Hobby Lobby. So I have one flower on there. So that's what I like about this style of flower because you can layer it and it looks like a succulent. So I'm gonna do the next one, but I wanna go ahead and make sure that it's off center a little bit or you know, in between the other petals so that it looks more like a succulent. So I'm gonna put a dot of hot glue make sure that they are not facing the same you want to you know have them different layers and of being the same color it's kind of hard to see okay and you can kind of help it a little bit by positioning those leaves but you don't need to really worry about that right now because you'll do that at the end but that is what I love about these burlap flowers that um, I've learned to do, put through the cuddle bag. I will definitely put that video below for you or link it here in this video so that you can definitely go and check that out and make some of these for yourself. The, the ideas are endless, seriously. <laughs> You can just use all kind of uh, burlap, burlap and fabric and then just felt and all kind of stuff. Okay. So you can kind of see my flower is taking shape. And I just kind of like to have it loosen up so I don't have to do so much of the work when my project is complete. And I just want to make sure that I have them off center, off in between each other, so that they're not all going the same way. Kind of get it started by just doing a little, like making it into a little flower cup. Just kind of just giving it a little head start. And then I have this one also. And <clears throat> I think what I want to do is I have a pencil and I just want it to kind of form it around the pencil eraser so that it will give me kind of really kind of push that down sorry if I was out of camera push that together so you kind of get a little cup or like the center of the succulent
Okay, so it's a little flat, but then once the glue dries, then you will shape it. And make it look like a succulent. Okay guys, here is my succulent. Let me tell you what I did. Once my hot glue was dry, I kept fiddling with the petals and just bringing them up so that they would kind of stand up on their own. Now I have, I did not use it on this, but I'm going to give you an example. If they are not standing up as much as you want them to, then I would suggest using some Stiffen Quick. I love this stuff. You can get it at the craft store and also at Walmart. And you can spray, whoops, you can spray it and it will stay just like that. As I said, this is the one that I previously did a year ago and it is still up. It hasn't fallen. Um, it is still as beautiful as the day that I did it. Okay, so now I have my jar and you can fill it with different kinds of candies. I have used Hershey Kisses, Hugs, uh, Hugs and Kisses in the past, but I just have some Starburst here. So you can write a little note, your child can write a little note, or you, if you can fit a gift card in there, go ahead and do that. And then just screw on the lid, just like that. And then you can add your flower. As I said, if the, if the E6000 glue is finished, you don't have to worry about putting this plastic on there, but this is just a way if you're like, I'm impatient and I need to do this. So there it is. So to make sure that it does stick, I'm going to put some E6000 glue. I like to buy these little tubes because I have a love-hate relationship with E6000 and um, these little tubes and I get along better than the larger tube. <clears throat> okay, so just to give it an instant hole, I'm just going to put a little hot glue on there. Okay, here is my faux succulent teacher gift that I created. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you to Stacy Williams of Love That Bug for doing this collab with me. I appreciate it so much. Her information will be in the description below, so make sure you show her some love. And also, I will leave a link in the description to my blog. I have tons of other teacher appreciation crafty ideas on my blog at countrycharmbytracy.com. I appreciate you all so much. Thanks for the support and God bless.